If you can hear me over the hail that is pounding on the roof and the windows, this week's episode is about trusting God. I'm Rachel Keith, and this is Monday's Muse. We just came in from outside a little while ago. We were intending to shoot this episode in the pool, but as you can see, Mother Nature has interfered with hail and lightning and probably some thunder. This is somehow the perfect setting in which to talk about trusting God. When the world seems chaotic, and there's a lot of storm, it's hard to believe there will be a future that is filled with peace and sun and warmth. I've been thinking a lot about this idea of trusting in God because the scripture for this week was the story in which Abraham sends his servant to find a wife for his son, Isaac. And the story isn't explicit so much as it is a story of how much Abraham and therefore his servant trusted that God would fulfill the promise of making great nation come from Abraham and a wife for Isaac was necessary for that. 10 years ago, my life looked nothing like it does now. The summer of 2007, I was newly separated I was significantly underemployed and I would have been homeless if not for the kindness of an older friend who let me stay in her spare room. I was convinced that the struggles and the difficulties would go on forever, that I would never find work that was meaningful, that I would never find the right person to be in relationship with, that I would never really be more than what I was in that moment. I have a friend who told me in those times that he was sure there was a season of abundance coming for me, that I had suffered plenty. I didn't believe him, but he was sure that if I continued to ask God for help, if I trusted in God enough, that somehow things would come right. And they have. 10 years later, I, I'm married to an amazing woman. I am blessed to live in a house with a pool in the backyard and to serve a congregation I love. Life has drastically transformed for me. And I now trust wholeheartedly that God has a future planned for me that is full of goodness and hope. Even for people of faith, it is not perfect. And I know that times will come again that will be challenging and difficult and my trust in God will waver. No doubt it has before and it will likely again. But as a person of faith, I want to try to hold on to that trust, particularly in those hard times. Because God's promise of love for us isn't confined to just the good times. God was present with me 10 years ago when life was so painful, just as much as God is present with me now in this moment where I am content and lots of joy is in my life. And I trust that God will be with me when difficult times come again. That is the promise we have, that if we follow where God leads, eventually goodness will come because this is the future God has planned for all of God's people. In the meantime, We need to trust in God's presence, trust that the Spirit is working to open avenues of grace and healing in our lives. These days I find myself filled with gratitude for the hard times that have led to the good times, mostly for the gratitude of God's love for me that has transformed my life. I hope you will think about the times in your life when you have been sure of God's presence and the times when you have not but know that God has been in those times as well. 
and that you will trust that God will be with you in the good and the not so good. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. Thank you.